Hey YouTube, this is Zach with Achilles Financial. Today I'm going to be covering Osprey Technology Acquisition Corp, which is the SPAC that is going to be taking Black Sky public. And this is a company we've looked at historically, and there has been very little news since they announced their merger. You can see that almost nearly to the day, they had a huge run-up the day of. We can actually look at the chart and look at the year-to-date where they actually had this huge run up. They went to like $17, $18 a share when they opened, made that announcement. And then they followed that decline in SPAC prices for the remainder of February. And they've been hovering around their, their price of $10 a share right now at 10.02. My thought process for this company is going to be pure speculation because there is not a lot of news to go off of, but they did get a, they have a single analyst covering them at this point in time with a $20 buy price. Now remember that this company is going to go from SFTW, which is their ticker symbol now, to BSKY. So right now the SPAC will be turning into the actual company of Black Sky. The original merger date in their press release was for July of 2021, and it is now, as of tomorrow, going to be July 2021, and I have yet to hear any additional news. Like I said, you've seen very little about this company, with the last news even on TD Ameritrade, which is what I have up in front of us, being in May of 2021. So more than really right now, that's going to be almost two months ago. So my thought process here is purely speculation. I'm by no means a financial advisor. I just want to highlight that this company is following a very similar trajectory to what we saw from Holicity, which is the company that as of today, I believe that vote has been finalized. They are taking Astra Public. So you can see that the company shot up. This is a, com a larger company. They have more revenue. They have more business. But they're in the space area. They went or announced their merger about two weeks prior to Black Sky. Had their merger announcement. Stock rode up. We talked about it a lot then. Came back down. And then it traded until they actually started announcing and doing a lot of press coverage surrounding the vote and the, in the pending merger. And you can see that the stock since that point in time, despite the heavy sell-off today, is still more than 20% higher. And yesterday it was as much as 30 to 40% higher. So my thought process here, there's kind of two different ways that I want to play it if we go back to Osprey Technology Corp. The first of which you can actually see, again, similar volume, smaller company, but we haven't had that run up. So either A, I'm willing to buy the shares and look to hold, and that's going to cost you right at $1,000 to be able to collect some of that premium or to buy 100 shares at which point in time you will have the capability to sell covered calls or you can purchase the calls so what i want to highlight here this is their option chain i'm looking at the november calls for 1250 and you can see those right here to purchase those you're looking right now at probably going to be 65 to 70 dollars to be able to purchase that there is not a lot of volume, so you want to definitely be careful here because, again, if you are making those purchases, you may not be able to sell. However, if the stock were to make a 50 cent move between now and the end of July, I anticipate we'd see a much higher rate of return than 10 percent. So for that reason, I think that there is a lot of potential on SFTW. Now, just depending on the pricing of the market and how they're behaving at that point in time, this is a company that is coming to market at a premium, and we have seen SPACs come to market at $10 a share and sell off. But this is one that, again, I'm purely looking, not necessarily at the underlying company, which I do like, but purely from the perspective that I can get very inexpensive options volume, despite the fact that the 1250 is 25% higher than where we're at today. But also the fact that I can have some exposure here or via the shares, and I do see a lot of opportunity with the company, especially if they make a move similar to what we just saw with Helicity. So I'm not looking for that move back to $16, $17 a share that we saw the first week that they were announced, but rather I'm looking to see that move up 50 cents to a dollar, at which point I would probably sell out. But again, not a financial advisor, just some guy on YouTube. If you want to know when I make a move on this company, feel free to join the Discord in the comments below or in the description below. And if you find this type of content helpful, please leave a like and subscribe. Thanks. Talk to you later.